almost exactly a year ago, I made a video about Chris Chan Wilder um, going to GameStop and vandalizing um, Saw the Hedgehog games. Because apparently his arms are not fucking blue. Yeah, such immaturity, you know, for, for a video game is absolutely bollocks. So, so, what could top that, if not rival it? Well, this happened. This one dude decides to go to Target one day and piss on a couple of video games. Yeah, this is, this happened. This actually fucking happened. And I was like, there is no way in the world I'm just going to pass this up. I got to show it to everyone. <sighs> I'm sure that Warcorp 666 is going to take a huge amount of delight making this video as well. Um, so I'm going to read the article. You know, the link's in the description. And you guys can, you know, follow along. So here's the article. Uh, try to follow along. You know, you could pause the video, take a look at the article, and, you know, do, you, do whatever, okay? I'm gonna read this. Man that urinated on video games in Target store arrested by Evan Hopkins. Pennsylvania police managed to nab a man who exposed himself in a Target store and proceeded to pee on the store video games thanks to Facebook posting. <coughs> <coughs> video games can drive people to do some crazy things. Uh, well... To a certain extent, yeah, I agree, you know, you can end up breaking your own controller. I used to do that once with my own controller. You're like, oh my god, this game is incredibly fucking hard. Uh, there has been many a controller that has met a grizzly hand thanks to an ill-planned spike after a loss. Unfortunate, um, the, the spelling and grammar is a bit poor in this article, so... You know, forgive me. Unfortunate games have ended up cracked, snapped, and shredded due to tough levels or unforgiving AI. Yes, video games can sometimes make people downright pissed, but one Pennsylvania man took things to a new level. <clears throat> In the sleepy city of Wikes Barry, or Bari, I, I cannot pronounce that, I am very sorry. Uh, police report that po they, a possibly intoxicated man you know, it's possible that he knew what he was doing. Uh, made his way into a local Target store, um, Target, on January 5th. Uh, the gentleman, who was apparently not interested in Target, recently concluded to buy to get one game sale. Uh, believe it or not, I actually took advantage of that sale um, in GameStop uh, during um, a little after New Year's. Uh, I managed to buy three games. Uh, it was Kingdom Hearts 2.5, um... The next one was Call of Duty Ghosts and Ratchet and Clank All for One. You know, it was a good sale. You know, 31 bucks? Hey, five games. It's five games. Like, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway. It proceeded to hop into a handicapped electric cart, then uh, tore off through the store. Uh, you know, uh, you sometimes see uh, these small little scooters that, that the handicap, and sometimes really fucking, you know, you know, absolutely fat people ride who are too lazy to even walk. Yeah, he decides to, you know, ride that little scooter. Go, dee 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 dee. It's so fucking fun. Yeah, haha. Oh boy. Whew. During his rascal scooter assisted adventure, the man made his way to the store's electronic department. Upon arriving at the video game section, the man removed his already urine soaked pants, so he pissed himself. Hmm. Okay. Exposing himself to the unfortunate shoppers in his vicinity, and proceeded to unleash the liquid, essence, liquid equivalent of Bubsy. Um. In case you guys do not know who Bubsy is, uh, it's basically about this Bobcat who had like three games and he's like this forgettable character on Sega. I mean, not Sega, but like, he was on, 
at least two Sega platform games and one PS game. Um, and the games totally fucking suck ass. Like, they were trying to, like, you know, create a mascot. You know, another mascot for, like, either Nintendo, Sega, or um, PlayStation. I mean, Bubsy was terrible. And hell, there was even a cartoon about it. But it didn't last. Bubsy didn't see the light of day. You could see the reviews from um, John Tron. Yeah. Um, okay, where was I? Uh, yeah, as I was saying. At least the liquid equivalent of Bubsy all over video, over the games, and a sexy display for. Ignore the fucking clock. I hate that clock with greater passion. Um, upon finishing, the gentleman departed the store sans pants and made off into the night like Batman. Ooh. Uh, upon his departure, the police was notified, but coming up empty-handed. The police decided to play it safe, unlike Grand Theft Auto V, gun hole cops. <coughs> I know how that feels, you know, though. I played GTA V. Fantastic game, by the way. Um, and opted to release a capture security camera image of the suspect to social media in hopes of drumming up leads. The posting provided youth helpful in leading to the police to arrest the individual on January 7th, with charges for incident exposure and public urination being prepared. While the suspect identity has not been made public, be thankful it's not War Corp 666. Because, you know, I mean, you. you I, I have the feeling it might be War Cup 666, because he has a tendency to get pissed off and drink a lot of beer. But hey, you know, it's... It could be. I'm just joking. It's definitely not War Cup 666. He would never go that low. Um, the perpetrator is expected to be announced soon. As for the motives, the police will likely add public intoxication to the list of charges. But there's no word on why video games were the target of the man's peace screen. Perhaps he had a vendetta with the bare bone boss, bare bone Star Wars Battlefront. Ooh. In any case, the game Tinkler, <laughs> like the game Overthinker, um, is off the streets and gamers and Target employees can rest assured that games in Target will likely remain pee free. But next time a gamer hears Target is having a liquidation scale, perhaps they shouldn't take it so, so literally. Source GameStop. So that was the article. So that's pretty much the summary of the story. A guy walks into Target, you know, pretty much drunk, maybe. Um, rides one of those Target scooters like a little baby, like, hee 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 And then decides to piss on some video games because, you know, he's fucking drunk. I guess that's what drunk people do. This is on par with Chris Chan. The stupidity is absolutely amazing. And, you know, it's a very rare opportunity for me to make a video about this. So, you know, thank you guys for watching. You know, I'll see you guys soon. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the Gamer.